Imagine yourself playing a video game with Dolby Surround Sound. With Jurassic Park, you don't have to. You play Dr. Grant as you scurry around the grounds, trying not to get eaten by the raptors or T-Rex. When you're inside a building, you must still avoid dinosaurs in an atmosphere similar to Wolfenstein 3D. The graphics in this area have very smooth scrolling, and the music is quiet and spooky as you search each room, unaware of vicious raptors that may be right behind you. You start the game at the entrance to Jurassic Park. A voice from the Gates computer system welcomes you. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The first thing you should do is head right, then down past the raptors. Jump left over the electrified grate, then down to the Nublar utility shed. Once inside the shed, enter the first door you see on your left. Shoot the dinosaur that guards this room, and then go to the door on the other side of the room. The next room beyond this door houses the generator. Avoid the spitters and go turn on the generator by simply walking close to it. When the lights turn on, evacuate the utility shed and return to the Jurassic Park entrance where you began the game. Using the electric cattle prod weapon, shoot at the gears next to the electric fence to make it slide open. Once the fence is open wide enough, make a run for it and cross to the other side of the fence as it slams shut behind you. Head left and touch the thing that looks like a spotlight. This object is really a motion sensor which saves your place. Head left along the trees until you reach a forest and then follow these directions. Head left, up, left, down, right, down to another motion sensor. Left, down, left, and follow the trees on the right until you reach a path that heads right. After you pass the raptor that surprises you with a twist at the path, head in the general direction of north until you find an egg. Pick it up by pressing X, then head down a long path. When the Triceratops charges in your direction, take cover among the trees on the right. Let the dinosaur pass, and then take a path that leads left directly to the beach utility shed. Once inside the shed, head left, around a corner, up, through a door, and search the next few rooms for another identification card. Since the generator is on, and you now have the necessary ID cards, you can now manage to reboot the main computer system from inside the visitor center. From the second floor elevator in the visitor center, go straight ahead and through the door into the incubator room. Enter the door furthest from you on your right. Enter a long hall, and then enter the door at the end of the hall to reach the main computer. Press the boot icon to access the computer's options screen, and then press the icon for motion sensors. Once the sensors are activated, the radar at the bottom of your screen when you are outside will help you determine the location of other dinosaurs with respect to your position. Find the ID card on the roof of the visitor center and then cross the river and head northeast to find the raptor pen. Search the lowest floor of the raptor pen to find out how the vicious monsters are escaping into the park. Hint, a crate will stop the reptile refugees. With only half the game complete, you must now secure the east and north areas of the island. Jurassic Park is a great game, challenging and worth buying. You must know your objectives in order to win, and they are listed in the instruction booklet. Bottom line, the challenge is very high, even with unlimited continues. Although the massive destruction element of the movie is absent in the game, the action is still very intense, and players should never get bored. The rich overhead graphics are great. Using the mouse inside the buildings is a great idea.